Hi everybody, this is Saltash Mass Tutor and today's video is going to be a lead into sequences and this is for GCSE um, for foundation or higher or in fact leading into the new 2015 teaching uh, which will be at the levels of 1 to 9. So what we're going to be doing is we're going oh, I'm not going to be doing that at all. We're going to be looking at this um, which is the in the new GCSE syllabus um, for sections A23, 24 and 25 and you can see the GOMP there which is to generate terms of a sequence from either term to term or a position to term rule. Now that is very similar to the um, old syllabus so um, it's just quantifying it for the future but it is still relevant to you. Uh, the one thing we're going to do in this video though is because I've done a little cast around and seen um, and ask questions of people of to ask what exactly is a sequence, what is a term, what's position, and what is the nth term. So we're going to do those basics first in this video, and then lead into other videos, which are actually going to be tutorials in how to generate nth term or nth squared terms, um, or the other varieties of things that you need within the sequencing. Now, what I would say also is that uh, my pick is down here and I will get that. Oh, no, there you go. Look, but the action is going to take place up there for you. So um, just follow that sort of stuff. OK, jumping straight into it then. Here we go. So um, if we were to look at first, let's get rid of that nasty, horrible clicking thing because we don't want that. Let's bury that up here. Go up there, go up there. I'm just going to look at a sequence. So we're going to have um, the sequence um, 5, 8, 11, and 14. And there'll be a lot of you who will instantly see um, that there is some sort of link between those numbers. And the fact that you've seen the uh, link between those num numbers is very, very important because that is... Let me just move that screen up a bit. Oh, doesn't want to do it. No! There we go, that's better, isn't it? Um, and the fact that there is a link between these numbers, so the link we've got here is we've got plus 3, and here is another plus 3. That simple fact, the fact that there is some sort of link, though in fact I'm just adding 3 to each of these numbers, and you can see that 11 plus 3 would be 14, and it could go on and on and on and on, means that that is a sequence. And you'll notice how I go quiet here, people, because I've got to do writing. I quite like maths. Oh, writing, I'm absolutely rubbish at. Um, so that's the sequence. That is what a sequence is. It's just a... Um, a list of things, but in this case numbers, in a particular order, and they relate to each other, and that's the, the key thing about it. Okay, so the next thing that we were going to have a look at was what is a term? Well, again, in uh, mathematics, uh, terms can be all sorts of things. So we could have stuff like, um, I don't know, 4a or 7x squared. These things are all terms. 4a is a term, 7x squared is a term. We sort of forget about that at the moment. We just want the single things that are in the sequence. And so 5 is a term, 8 is a term, 11 is a term, 14 is in a term. So in fact, the term is just the thing in the sequence, like that or like that. So what else are we going to look at? Uh, so we're going to look at position. Now position is um, an interesting thing and uh, there's one way of looking at it, I guess. And that's to say, well, if I had, um, I don't know, mum and I had uh, dad and I had you and I had me and we were all in a queue of people. And we were standing um, at a counter waiting to be served. And if the manager of the, the shop came in and said and looked at that queue of people and then called over one of his colleagues, he would say that the second person standing in is the second person in the queue. Their position in the queue is the second position. So in other words, we are talking about dad, but dad's just a name of something, a bit like eight is a, is a name. 
dad is a name so we would say that actually his position is second in the queue where's mum well she's first in the queue where are you well you're third in the queue and where am i well i'm fourth in the queue these are our positions so um if the manager was to go and speak to somebody else and say can you go and have a word with the chap who's fourth in the queue they would come along and they would speak to me that is my position in the queue well position in a queue position in the sequence it's all really the same sort of thing and so that's the position first second third and fourth that sort of leads me now on to um, my next bit which is what exactly does nth mean well if i was to have my list of numbers i've got five which is first in the queue i've got eight which is second in the queue i've got 11 which is third in the queue 14 which is fourth in the queue and probably if we were to look at this we could say well i'm adding three here so i could say actually that 17 is fifth in the queue but you see that sequence from this one which is fifth in the queue goes on and on and on we can have numbers galore going on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever but it's going to reach a point in the future when we're going to have a number and that's really badly drawn isn't it but some number in the queue like fifth or fourth or sixth or 76th or a hundredth but we don't know how long that goes on for so we just say that it is and rather than keep saying number all the time we just go we use the n bit of number and we say that that's the nth number the nth number is some number in the future that we're not quite sure of but it could be anything following the sequence relating to the position so in the future i could have 60 67th position I could have the 10th position, I could have the 12th position, but the nth term is some future thing um, that could be any number that I can generate mathematically. It's probably one of the hardest concepts in sequencing to get over, but that's what the nth term is, something in the future that you haven't quite um, worked out quite yet. Okay, so, and I'm going to pause here everybody, we've looked at um, the fact that we've got a sequence and the sequence is any numbers that relate to each other we've talked about a term so when we talked about um, our terms 5 and 8 and 11 they were each individually terms terms they were terms in sequence we've talked about position and that position is where i am in the queue where i am in the sequence so uh, let's just have a little example here 5 8 11 and 14 well the position of number 11 is third in the queue and then we have the concept of what was the nth term well the nth term was some future projection in fact let me write out 5 8 11 and 14 some future projection of a number the nth number because it's sort of some number that we don't know about abbreviated to n that we may or may not work out and that's when we come to talk about creating the nth term that's what that term does that's what that thing does it creates for me what actually that number is within the position well i hope that's been some help to you and uncloaked some of the um, mysteries of sequences that you require for um, either the high the foundation or the levels one to nine GCSE um, if you found some use from Saltash Maths Tutor then I'd ask you to subscribe um, it means that all the up videos that get uploaded uh, you get a first look at them also really happy for you to post comments um, I'm not arrogant enough to think that I know everything. You may have a better way. Um, you may, in fact, have some comments. I might have even made a mistake in it. I don't know. But please post comments. And really, really importantly, if you have found that you need some more help, ask and I shall generate a video for you. This has been Saltash Math Tutor. I hope it has been of some use to you. Thank you very much.